Hey, how you doing today? I am Coach Ryan Family. We are here in the Viper Pit. I am gonna to talk to you today about how to jump back into the weight room after a layoff. Uh, if you remember from my last video, I've taken five weeks completely out of the gym to resensitize my body to the weight room. Now, if I did like what most people do, I would jump right back in full bore, guns a-blazing with the hardest, most intense program to try to stimulate fast results. That would be a mistake, and that's why most people burn out after a short period of time in the gym. So today I wanna to talk about what you do. What, what should your training look like when you're coming back from a layoff? Um, I've been fairly highly trained for a while. I've trained many, many years. And so with this layoff, I haven't lost everything that I've ever worked for, but I am detrained a little bit. Not to the point where I'm winded trying to tie my shoes or anything like that, but I'm noticeably starting to get a little bit out of shape. So what should the training program look like? Well, there's first, there's gonna be five kind of rules or guidelines that I like when reintroducing someone to the gym. And this also goes for introducing someone to the gym if they've never trained before. You shouldn't smash right out of the gate, okay? Save the Hulk smash for when you deserve it from more modest training. Number one, training should be easy. That's right, right at the beginning, it should be easy. What does that mean? It means if I'm doing a set of 10 reps, I'm gonna use a weight that I could probably do 15 to 20 with if I really push it hard. Um, I'm not taking it to failure and I'm not doing a ton of work sets. I'm not pushing to the point where I'm puking or sick or anything like that. I'm trying to gradually get back into the game. Number two, it should be short. Right now, I'm looking at maybe 20 minute workouts, okay, after the warm up. So when we start, basically 20 good minutes of reasonable work. You don't have the energy reserves. You don't have the adaptive reserves to put in a long workout if you're coming from a layoff, all right? Number three, should build your work capacity. This training is basically a phase to get me in shape for the harder training down the road. If I come right in and start doing heavy singles in the squat, uh, while I'm in a detrained state, I'm just gonna get injured and I'm not gonna lay a foundation on which I can improve that squat later, okay? So I'm gonna do things that are gonna build my work capacity, basically train me to be able to train down the road. Number four, no intensifiers. This is a big one. A lot of people, when they get back in the gym, they're doing drop sets, rest, pause, clusters, all this crazy stuff, um, taking sets to failure. Uh, leave that for the first, uh, forget about it for the first few weeks back in the gym. We don't want to do any intensifiers. We don't want to make it overly hard to recover from. Just basic training is going to stimulate you enough if you've been completely off. So there's no need to play your best trump cards right out of the gate. And last but not least, training should be fun, all right? When you're coming back from a layoff, you wanna do things that are enjoyable to you, that you really like to do, and also, uh, I could put number six, target your weaknesses, okay? I'm Coach Ryan Finley from the Viper Pit. If you found this video informative, please hit subscribe below, and I'll see you next time.